tales from around the ways related to high school. I was about 16 when my mom decided to gift me some underwear. So she said, I know, right, teenage mom and daughter is sharing underwear, like what's going on here? Uh, she bought a bra and panty set, and because they came together as one, only the bra fit, but not the underwear. So she was like, hey, Oni, do you want this? Do you see this face? <laughs> when I was in high school, I was a grungy girl. I wore pants that were like an iron and kind of like big. I had people ask me a few times, girl, where's your butt? And I was like, I have a butt. Teenage boys aren't allowed to see it because it's mine and you tease me, so it's secret. <laughs> um, I also wore like, not oversized t-shirts, but anything to hide the non-existent breastesses. <laughs> but my secret was that I wore sexy underwear. So whenever someone was like, oh, Nisha, you're so ugly, or oh, Nisha, you're too skinny, I'd be like, that's what you say now, but I'm a goddess underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what is going on in life? So, these underwears, they're tiny and blue, and they cut your butt like this. Wait for it. And they have like really cool like metal swirly things over here. And I was like, yes! I'm gonna be like, first period, third period, just sexy time all day long. So I finally get to put them on and I go to school and it's like third period and I'm sitting in class and I have a massive headache. I'm like, dear Jesus, I don't know what's happening but you need to fix it because I cannot think. So I go to the bathroom and I'm just like, I don't have to pee but maybe I have to pee, like let's like try and like undo some stuff. So as I pulled on my pants, I realized that my underwear is cutting into my hip bone. And as you can see, I am just bones right now. So I was more bones back in high school. And it was just like kind of inflamed. I was like, oh God, it's too tight. This, is, this can't be life. So I decide that I'm going to like, um, <laughs> I'm gonna like wad some toilet paper together. I just like, like add some cushion to the sides. And I go back to class and I think, oh. <laughs> I'm like, I can't think, Lord Jesus, you gotta think. So one period later, I'm like inching it down, and I was just like, maybe here is smaller. And it doesn't work because your hips go wider like this. So another period later, I'm like, maybe we should pull it up because here is tiny. But now I'm just cutting my crotch. <laughs> and eventually, I make it home, and I look at my sexy underwear, and I'm like, Oh, Jesus, this is not for me. And so I just rested in my closet. And for about six months, like once a week, I would be like, is today the day? And I, like sometimes I put them on and I'm just like, I'm going to lose my life trying to be sexy for people who won't even know it. So eventually I just toss them in the trash and I just think to myself, oh, I'm not being a good goddess. 